December 20th, Romans 6, 23. 23. For the wagons of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. 9. Not of works, lest any man should boast. December 20th, the gift of God. The Christmas tradition of many families many families now includes the giving of gifts to close close family members. Such inspirations of love can certainly be a blessing and bring joy to the heart. However, it seems this tradition has morphed into something into something of an assess, but it needs not but need not to be that way. The giving of the giving of gifts at Christmas can serve several wonderful purposes. In the first place, the gift, giving of gifts can meet real needs as as we read, reach out to others during the season. Ministering to real needs such as food and clothing emphasize what the Spirit of Christ is all about. Next, there is not nothing wrong with simply blessing someone you love with good things that go beyond the basic needs. Jesus seems to allude to this natural affection in Matthew 7, 11. But finally, have you ever focused upon the conditional of gift given to serve as a reminder of God's gift at Christmas? Why not make each gift an object lesson of his Love. We can certainly use to appropriate to approach and approach teach our children about the gift God gave us at Christmas. Be creative and do not let let the season pass without this ambitious. Remember, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Our Lord's salvation is the gift of God. Have you freely received his gift, this gift?